Hey fam and welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So for those of you who are finding my channel for the very first time, my name is Marshawn and I am your life and relationship strategist. I help men and women out there alike to create the relationship that they so want, need, and desire by giving them simple tips and strategies to implement into their life. So now today, this one is specifically for the Christians out there. However, everybody can glean something from this video and what we are talking about today is how to understand how both of you can be equally yoked stay tuned after this all right fam thanks so much for coming back so again this one again just from the verbiage you would think that it's only for christians but it's not. It's for everybody out there who wants to glean some new information on how you can be equal partners, but specifically for the Christians, we say equally yoked. All right. So we're going to jump in. So the very first thing that you can do is make sure that you understand what each other's vision and um, roles that you will play in the relationship. Yeah. What's the vision for the relationship and what are the roles that each of you are going to play? Now in Christ, in the Christian world, we have that the women ha the woman has her role and the man has his role. So we get that. Right? But if you really want to roll it back a little bit, what is your definition? What is going to make the both of you happy in your relationship? What is equal to you in your relationship? The second thing is to make sure that you both encourage each other. Encourage each other to pray. Encourage each other to go to church. Encourage each other to absolutely, um, as much as possible, pray um, together. But when I said pray, I really meant to pray to God. Okay? Let me just make sure that I say that. Okay? <laughs> you ain't just out there willy-nilly talking to nobody. Uh, which we really know when you say pray, you're talking about pray to God. For the most part. But... In any event, let's 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 go on back, okay? Because I'm getting off on a tangent. Pray, pray, and pray some more. Pray as a couple, and then pray singularly as well. The next way is to have a clear understanding of um, the the similar passions that you guys have, not only for career career wise, but also spiritually. Wise is that a word spiritually? Yeah, it is okay. <laughs> spiritually wise, what are your goals there as well? The third thing that you can do is to make sure that you at least can name three good characteristics about your boo right off the top of your head. And this is something that both of you should be able to do. Like, if I was to come to you, if I was to come to my boo and just be like, Give me three qualities about myself, by this time, you should know what the qualities are about your boo. The fifth thing is that you both understand each other's weaknesses and then you also help them out or point them out to them when they are going off the path. They need some help, but you're helping him and he's helping you because we can get off that path easily. <laughs> we can get off the righteous path easily, real quick, from zero to 100, real quick. The next thing is to make sure that you guys have an understanding, a clear understanding about the family and the child rearing. Like, what does your family look like? Meaning together. What is the life, the family life that you're trying to build together? How will you rear the children? Will it be all one person's job or will it be a shared task? Will you all go to church together or will only one parent take the child to church or will you take a child to to um, will you guys take your child to a different church and then you guys go to a different service because I've seen that as well. But what does your life, including God in it, what does it look like for you? What does it look for, like for your family? What does it look like for your child? The last one I mentioned before, but I want to make sure that I mention here again, which is pray, 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 because prayer absolutely changes things. And if you feel that you are unequally yoked in one area, prayer can absolutely change things around. Now, here's the, here's the caveat, though. Here it is. Just because you're praying about it one time don't mean that God is going to deliver your spouse from that thing. 
It might not happen in your time, but God is always on time. Okay? Can I get an amen? Oh! Yes. So, fam, those are several ways to see that you can be equally yoked with your partner. There are definitely more ways out there. These are the ones that I wanted to come and share with you today. Is there something that I could have added to the list? What will you do to make sure that you are equally yoked with your partner, with your spouse? I definitely want to hear about it. Let's continue the conversation down in the comment section below. And, of course, if this is your very first time here to I Love Me Me Me, Think about subscribing, but why not just do it now because you have made it to this point in the video and the video is almost over. So go ahead and hit that red subscribe button or the icon with my lovely face because here at I Love Me Me Me, I'm supplying you guys with all of the tips and tools in order to have happy, healthy, romantic relationships so we can collectively decrease the divorce rate while simultaneously increasing the marriage rate. I will see you guys in the next video. Deuces.